So let us do level two type of questions, which are three plus two root five. One second. <clears throat> Can you see? I told you in the previous yeah. class, 3 plus 2 root 5. So all these questions can be done in a similar manner. So I am going to do the last one. You can do the rest of them on your own. Even 1 upon root 2 is same. Why? Because if I multiply by root 2, divide by root 2, it will be root 2 upon 2. Okay. So even this is also in the same category. So only two type of questions are there. One where the root is alone, which we did earlier. And another one where we have some number getting added or multiplied or divided. I hope the concept is clear. I'm going to show yes. that question. So the question is prove that three plus two root five is an irrational number yes or no so step number one is again same if we have to prove this thing as an irrational number we are going to take it a contrarian view let 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational therefore 3 plus 2 root 5 is equals to A upon B, where A and B are A and B are co prime. Co prime. Okay, this is an important thing. Now we don't go the previous way, if you remember. What we did, we did squaring and all that stuff. Over here, we don't need to do squaring and all that stuff. What we need to do is shift everything to the other side and keep root on the left hand side. So we have three over here and two over here. Both of them need to be shifted to the other side. So which one should I shift first? Three or two? Two. We mm -hmm. shift three first. Yeah. Sorry. So two root five is equals to A upon B minus three. Make sense? I'll take LCM. So B is the LCM, A minus 3B. Is this step clear? Yes. yes sir. I'll shift this 2 to the other side. Over here, it is getting multiplied. If I shift to the other side, it will divide. divide. A minus 3B upon 2B. Now, try to understand. What is a fraction or rational number? Where we have some integers on the top and integers at the bottom. Now, look at this side. A is an integer. That's why we were talking about co prime number. 3 is an integer. B is an integer. 2 and B are integers. So basically, it's a fraction. It's a rational number. Yes. So we will write that thing as A, B, 3, and 2 are integers. Therefore, A minus 3B upon 2B is a rational number. Okay. Therefore, not therefore, and, and not and, and root 5 is a, is an irrational number. 
Now there can be two type of questions. One question can be prove that root five is irrational and then two plus or uh, one second three plus two root five irrational. In that case, you have to prove root five also irrational the long way, what we did earlier. Is that thing clear? Oh, then how much how many marks will this carry? So that type of question will be for four marks. Oh, okay. Now the type of question which I am doing right now, where I'm taking it directly, this is a very uh, less time consuming task, na? I'm just stating it yes, that and root 5 is an irrational number. So it is only for two marks. This kind of question will come for two marks where you don't need to prove it. Okay. okay. And root 5 is an irrational number. Therefore, rational cannot be equal to irrational isn't it rational cannot yes. be equal to irrational hence our assumption is wrong Therefore, 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational. Any doubt in this process? No, sir. And if the question comes in this format, it will be for 4 marks. Right now, this particular question without proving is for uh, two to three marks. But I would recommend that please refer to your school teacher because um, what happens sometimes they want, no, no, you have to prove root five also irrational separately. So some teachers are adamant, not because of the marks, because they want you to practice little bit more. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. So sometimes they feel like I will give this question and in this only student will have to prove it. Root 5. So so that way they try to uh, do two questions in the same question. So that's it. Uh, on this basis, you can do the question from the book. All these questions are possible. So exercise 1.3 is your homework. Okay.